Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to open up the old CBS mailbag. Here we go. Letters, we get letters, we get sacks and sacks of letters. Here's what we do every Friday night, although we haven't done it for the last Friday nights because we had folks in from all over the country. Started right. out in Indianapolis, St. Louis, uh, Minneapolis, and then Denver. So we haven't done this in about a month. Every Friday night, normally, we answer uh, the mail from uh, you folks, the home viewers. You people who watch at home, who make this show possible, you know, tip of the hat to you, God bless you, thank you. And we repay that love by answering our viewer mail. What is wrong with you? What are you looking at me like that for? Are you in a hurry to get out of here? Huh? What's the matter? Everything all right? All right, okay. Well, don't give me the skunk eye, please. I'm begging it. You were giving me the skunk eye, weren't you? Why? Why? What have I done to you? I've always been nice to you, haven't I? And, and, and by the way, that's a pretty short list of people, isn't it? Yes. All right. Excuse me, I had to discipline the staff. Uh, Actual letters from actual viewers, and now the ceremonial presentation of tonight's letters, the most annoying thing on American television. Letter number one. Letter number one. Uh -huh. Letter number one. Thank you very much. Dear Dave, <laughs> we've been listening to your audience complain about how cold it is in the theater for years, and we want to know how damn cold uh, could it be. Sincerely, Donna Stocks and uh, Frank Merriman. Uh, good question. We hear that harangue a lot. Let me just show you, by way of comparison, uh, what the temperature actually is here. Uh, 32 degrees, of course, Fahrenheit. That's freezing. That's when uh, liquid freezes, water freezes there. Now, zero degrees, that's the temperature here in the Ed Sullivan Theater. Zero degrees. Now, <laughs> minus 40 degrees. That's the current temperature of the Kathy Lee Frank Gifford marriage. Oh. That's how cold that is. Okay. Just that cold. That's cold. They'll get it worked out. Those kids will get it all worked out. Just a misunderstanding, that's, that's all it is. Right. They'll get it worked out. Letter number two. Letter hey, number mom. two. Hey, mom. Letter number two. See, hey, see, what I say? Hey, see how annoying it can be? Yeah, see what I, what I mean when I say it's very really annoying. annoying. It's so it's annoying. annoying. Every hey, week mom. Annoying. Each time it gets hey, hey, mom. A little bit more Letter number so two. That's annoying. really annoying. Uh, dear Dave, I've noticed that the fake city behind you has gotten progressively more complex and realistic as the years go by. Ben Kane, uh, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Well, that's a, that's a beautiful uh, representation of the great city of uh, New York. And we do. We try to enhance it and make it uh, more realistic. For example, take a look at this. Can you, can you pull a camera in here real tight and get a nice shot of it? Look, we invite, added a handsome cab there. See the handsome cab there? All right, pull the camera out. Yeah. Pull the camera pull the cap, out. Pull it out. Nice. Hi. Hello, kitty. Letter number three. Hey, hello, Kitty. Letter, letter number three. Yeah, hello, Kitty. You know, letter number I'm three. running out of ways to make these annoying. So if you oh, have any you'd no, like to try no. on your own, just oh, jump right in thank there. Thank you, yeah. all right. One man can't be this annoying oh, every yeah. night. I've got my hands full trying to be as annoying as I possibly can. That's what people want on TV. They want to be annoyed. And we've got the data to prove it. We have focus groups just dying to be annoyed. <laughs> Just can't wait to be annoyed by yours truly. Okay, number three. Dear Dave, uh, every morning I hate to get up and go to work. Is that the same with you? Sincerely, Matthew Salimo, New Brunswick, uh, New Jersey. You know, uh, I don't uh, hate getting up and coming to work. There is one part of my day that I dislike. I got to be here every morning about 6, 6.30 to get into makeup. God, I hate it. Watch this. Thank you very much. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Hey, Dave. Just great. Not much better, is it? Well, that was supposed to be you there, that I know. other guy. I, know. I dubbed the voice. Are you oh, kidding? Yeah, I know. I know. What a waste right. of time. Okay. All right, finally, ladies and gentlemen, our final and funniest letter, letter number four, the big one. It's the H bomb. Here we go. Here we letter go, everybody. Four. This is it, letter number four. The big one. Well, Paul, oh, now, this is a now, big letter. Big uh, letter. <laughs> you're, you're really annoying. Oh. Thank you. Big See, <laughs> I was setting him up. I was merely the setup man. Really? Yes. Well, what do I do? Tossing. Uh huh. Well, you, then you pay it off. Oh. <laughs> Letter number four. Dear Dave, uh, have you ever considered being the next Batman? Uh, yours truly. 
Steve Spencer, Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a silly request, and uh, of course, no, I'm not going to be uh, the next Batman. You've got to be one of the top hunks of the day to be a Batman, you know what I mean? You could do it. No, no, no. You could absolutely do it. The audience is in favor but, of it. Uh, I understand uh, our good friend uh, Rupert G., the man who owns and operates the Hello Deli. Really? He has a, a role in the upcoming uh, Batman movie. Yeah. Rupert? Rupert, where are you? Hi, Dave. How are you? <laughs> So, Rupert, tell us a, a little bit about your character. Do you have any uh, special powers? Well, Dave, my character is named Dr. Meat. Uh -huh. He's a mild-mannered deli guy by day and right. a supervillain by night. Supervillain by night. That's for my special night. powers. Right. Let me show you. Okay. I am Dr. Meat. Behold my magic baster. Back to you, Dave. <laughs> Rupert G., ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's always nice to see a guy who works around food wearing a cod piece, ain't it? <laughs> That, that, oh, wow. Uh, uh, that, that really whets the old yes, appetite, fine. don't it? <laughs> All right, let's close up the CBS mailbag. Letters, we get letters. We get sacks and sacks on the letters. Letters! We'll be right back with Jason Alexander and tonight's top ten list.